should be no secret to anybody that technology is evolving. And we see it every day from things as AI just is insane what it can do now, along with all these other things that you can see throughout your day-to-day -day lives. I mean, just how far, like, the iPhones and stuff have came, everything is insane. But what I wanted to talk about today is the fact that Walmart has got this new technology, have reports coming in now on this, for people actually saying this, they've developed it to where all of the items in Walmart now are going to have an invisible ink label on them that you will not be able to see with your naked eye, but their cameras will be able to track. It'll be able to track where you pick the items up. It'll be able to track if you put the item back down, what shelf you put it back down on. And this could potentially be something that leads to a bunch of false accusations against people because basically they're going to say that you're a thief before you're ever a thief because it'll be building a profile, so to speak, if you think about it, because you come in, you decide that you don't want that. I mean, how many items have you guys seen in Walmart like when you come in? I think we're all guilty of this, though. We go in, we pick up an item, and then we decide that we don't want it, and then it's just kind of more convenient to put it down on the shelf that you're standing right next to than what it is and other you know taking it all the way back to that other aisle that you were on and everything so really think about that though guys i mean it's getting so out of hand and stuff though with all the self checkouts and everything they are basically saying that they you know and it's been in the reports and stuff over the last couple of years since the self checkout thing has really taken over over everything Billions of dollars in losses, they claim. And all the merchandise that gets stolen at self-checkouts. Well, here's an idea behind that. There shouldn't be self-checkouts in the first place. Or they should be an option. But how many of you guys have went into a Walmart store here lately to where all they have is a self-checkout deal? And they might have two or three like registers in the entire store left. Of course, people forget about the times back when Walmart actually had the cash registers you know they had 20 or 30 of them in there but only three of them would be open for the entire store on like a really busy day trying to get out of that place and you'd have to stand there for two hours i'm not against the self-checkout thing but if you're going to have the self-checkout you got to be able to trust people and as you can see people continue to take items without paying for them and a lot of people are doing this because they think well, since I'm having to do it like myself and they're not paying me, I'm just going to take items and do this. Now, that's not right either. You shouldn't be stealing things. You shouldn't be doing things along these lines. But then again, if Walmart's going to have you do it, then they should be able to trust you. They have technology now, and I know because every time I go in there, I always have a hat on. And every time I go in that place, like it happens to me if I'm at the self-checkout. I go and I scan it, I scan a few items I got, thing always pops up. Wait for associate. It's trying to accuse me of stealing things in there. But now all it was is that my hat blocked the camera because I leaned down like this. And then they have to go in and it's a replay, almost like a football game or something. It just shows you scanning the item and everything. It also happens if you scan the items too fast. And it's just insane to me, though, that Walmart wants to implement all this stuff, but they want to try to accuse you of being a thief and you're going to steal because of all this other stuff. They're a business. I get it. But they should not be, you know, you can't have it both ways. And honestly, thieves are just going to go and start loading up stuff and just walking out of the store with it. I mean, that's just the, the way that thieves work anymore. I mean, they can do that out there in L.A. and stuff right now. It's under $1,000. Just go up there and load it up and just walk out of the store with it. And there's nothing that can stop them. Police officers are standing right there on the sidewalk. It's the world that we live in today, though, guys. you got to be sure, though, that you're being careful in that place now, especially with all the invisible ink labels. You don't want to get falsely accused of trying to shoplift or anything along those lines, which I don't really understand the purpose of why they're doing this, though, of why they are taking the invisible ink labels and then the cameras are going to track you all over the store with all these items and they're going to be seeing like where you set stuff down or like where you pick it up. Because if you're still inside the store, then you're not shoplifting. But they're going to use it to catch shoplifters 
but yet when you go to the front, that stuff right there is supposed to catch shoplifters. Plus, they sh are checking your receipts as you walk outside the door and looking at your buggy. So, what is the purpose of this? I mean, guys, I mean, it's a strange world that we live in. And honestly, it's just another way for them to do things. I actually had a uh, deal one time whenever I was in, in Walmart. I was buying some items. And I... It double scanned. I didn't actually realize it until after it got paid for. And this girl came over there and she was being super nice and she was being helpful with me about it and everything. But then this guy came over there when she's sitting there talking to me and he came over there to me and he was like, what's the problem? Trying to steal something? I mean, just being a smart ass, guys. I mean, just, just being an idiot basically and everything. And came over there and he did that though. And I was like, what's your problem, man? He was like a manager or something. And then he sold up and he stomped away and stuff though. After the girl told him, it's not a big deal. He just overpaid and I'm going to give him some of his money back and everything. But people like that, I mean, the ego trips of some of these people, guys, in these places is just absolutely insane. But that was my fun story about Walmart, guys. And try to keep you guys updated on everything going on, so... That is the technology, so if they try to get you for shoplifting, whenever you go in Walmart with this new technology, just know that's probably why, because they're trying to track you across the entire store, even though it makes absolutely no sense. God bless each and every one of you. Subscribe and turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our weekly uploads.